Hey, what's up, guys? It's Floppy Zombie here, and I've got another narrated Wi Fi battle here for you today, guys. Hello! Yes, it's a pretty mad, and it's against a um, dino waffler, and yeah. She needs off of a typhlosion, and usually when it comes to typhlosions, it means I lose because I don't like them, and they usually like tear from my team. And it goes for the solar beam. I was thinking what, and then it has that herb, and it goes straight away. And I'm thinking what, the power herb. But because my athlete's got some like special defense EVs and some HP EVs and max like, special attack, um, I live that nicely and kill it off with the hydro pump. Now she goes into this guy, Snooky. Uh, this girl, should I say, Snooky, and go for the charge. It doesn't quite take me out, but I went for the hypnosis and it missed. Yeah. So anyway, she goes for the psychic and that does take me out. And um, next, I decide to go into my storm talon and see how much of choice specs the um, shadow ball would do in because this guy doesn't boast max special attack. It doesn't do much, but I'm assuming that guy's specially bulky still, considering it's stab. They're not stab. What? It's super effective and choice specs. So she goes into a herbit, probably predicting on choice, judging by the chunk that did, and um, goes for the waterfall on my storm talent as I switch onto my, into my physical wall to take it. Now that was kind of a risky play because some sharp users do tend to carry the earthquake. This one appears not to as I go for the thunder on Snooky. And um, yeah, that's a good move for me, good move for me. And um, she goes into the orange. Looks to be a three look to be a three hit KO with thunder and now it's probably still gonna be another two or three. So anyway, I get the toxic off on it, thinking, yeah, this is nice. If you get toxic off on a wall, it's always nice. And um, yeah, I miss my next thunder here, which does happen. I mean, it does boast only seventy percent accuracy, which so is expected. But other than that, I usually have really good luck with thunder. It usually hits quite like regularly for me, so that's why I tend to use it on him. So I go into my dragon ball, not knowing what he wanted to do. I'm gonna set up the substitute, and this is my sub punching dragon ball. So yeah, it's got life orb, adamant max attack, and um. Fortunately enough for me, it goes for the heal bell, meaning I get to keep the sub and because I have speed I can kill it off with a thunder punch which is nice. Here I set up the focus punch as she goes into Pogeball, the electrode. And knowing that these guys don't boast the best special attack, I was thinking might be able to keep myself, but I don't. Uh, but I assumed I had a pretty nice easy KO there on this guy, so I decided to stay in and just go for the thunder punch in case she opted to switch out into something that can resist the another type of attack that I might have. Now unfortunately for me, Dragon Ball can't learn Ice Punch, so I gave it Fire Punch, but it, you don't see it in this battle, but yeah. So she goes for the Waterfall and that's going to be an easy takeout on my Dragon Ball, as I now go into my Sleepy Seed. My Sleepy Seed is my bulky Ivysaur, I know I use Ivysaur a lot because it's cool for me, I just really enjoy it. And um, yeah, I, I, get, I eat this, I don't know why she went for the Brick Break there, because I'm pretty sure Waterfall boasts higher base power and would have done more damage, but she does get the crit on the brick break, and saying that was a crit, that did nothing. So I go for the sub predicting the switch, and um, after I put the um, polyraft to sleep, and I go for the sub predicting the switch, and she goes into an AC 130, which is an awesome nickname for a video. I mean, obviously she must play card, because I think on her profile she's got an Xbox Live game attack, which is pretty cool. Pretty damn cool. And, um, yeah, so I go for the sludge bomb while I've still got my stuff up and she just goes for the air slash to take me out. So I go into my Jaffa Cake here and the air slash doesn't do much and she goes for the protect, probably seeing what I'm going to do. And unfortunately for her, I still a rock polish. So yeah, my Jaffa Cake's at plus two speed and it's ready to do what she is. And um, I go for the ice beam there and it doesn't quite take it out. And here I was thinking she might want to switch back into polygraph to take the ice beam, possibly where could attack me. So I go for the psychic and that was a nice chunk to this um, angry Yoshi and uh, I don't know why you should call it angry Yoshi when it's not shiny the shiny one's green you should go with that but anyway that's still a cool nickname and um, I go for the second sidekick take it out and I want to over and she goes into Herbert and her Pidgeot actually missed a toxic on my jump cake and if you thought oh my god she missed a toxic um, this bit here just shows how it didn't matter because I explode on Herbert anyway so anyway I go into my storm town on and all she's got left is her AZ-130 and she goes for the roost so I just have to air slash since I'm spexed and I thought that would be the best damn attack I could do to her so I just decided to go continuously for the air slash she goes for her own air slash it's like I flinch and that's kind of annoying I don't know why she does this but she goes for the toxic here for whatever reason but yeah that's kind of won me the game so yeah that's the first time I've ever beaten a team with a Typhlosion can't wait to subscribe to us both and can't wait to subscribe to Elma Swelter who's the host of this tourney peace